do have the cups. And what else do you have there? I've got the colored sheets of paper. Okay. I've got these cards. Okay. I've got those little ones with the symbols. And I've got the solid ones with the symbols. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm going to um, get you to take your glasses off. I want you to take deep breaths, slow, deep breaths, and I want you to imagine everything that we've been thinking about, everything we've been doing, and just imagining it all going out when you exhale, okay? Yeah, Roll yeah. your shoulders back slowly and just let the tension release out of your shoulders, and I want you to go from your toes, actually squeeze your toes together and then just release them, and then go up through your legs and just squeeze your legs tight and then just release them. Then come up through your torso, your shoulders, your arms, and everything, and just really tense them really tight, as hard as you can, and then just release them. And then go up through your forehead, your face, and then just notice any tension in that, and just let it go. And I want you to imagine a ball in front of you, and I want you to put everything that you've been worrying about, anything you've been working on, I want you to put it into that that ball in your hands and throw it up over your head out of the room. I want you to take another deep breath, deep, deep breath, and just let it go. Just kind of sink into the chair and just let everything go in your body. And this is what your consciousness can do. It can leave your body, it can look out, it can see shapes, colors. It's a part of you, but also can be apart from you. Deep, deep, deep breath, and then just release it and see yourself as the beam of light. Imagine your whole body engulfed with this beam of light. And watch it getting brighter and brighter and brighter. And that is your consciousness. Another deep breath, just let it go, and just imagine this beam of light all around you. And it's entering your temple, entering your forehead, where your eye is, your third eye, and imagine it lighting it up, activating it. Another deep breath, and I want you to reach forward and grab a cup. Okay, move it around to the back. What color is that? I got a flash of orange. That's what it is. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. I got a blob of orange showing up. We got to remember that because you, your initial seeing was in the back of your head. Let's go to your cards with the letters. Shuffle them first, just in case you might remember what the top one is. Okay, let's see them again. Let's see what the top one is. Okay, take that one. Move it up. Yeah. And tell me what letter you see. Move your beam around and try to scan it. Maybe your beam is tiny. Move it around to see if you can distinguish what that is. What is that letter? I got like an H. <laughs> that was the next card? <laughs> that's the next card on this pile? Yes. That you put, yeah, that's the H right there. Yep. So my brain is over in the pile. Exactly. <laughs> okay, how's that? Okay, turn it. It's upside down, so turn it the other way. But if your consciousness is going there... It won't matter. But then, okay, put it down and tell me what letter that is. And you're doing the same thing I do all the time. And you know what? Marina did say that once you learn this, your consciousness goes out. Okay, so since I'm getting the bottom of the pile of the cards, what is on the bottom? Is it an L? Um, no. I'd be interested. Take the top card and show me what it is. Just for fun. <laughs> Just for fun. I want you to grab um, your colored sheets, shuffle them, just so you don't have any idea what it is. Take that one. This one? Yes. Tell me what color that is. It's funny because I get the light blue. That's what it is. Exactly. Yeah, it really shows up well. Yeah, that's the light blue. It's the first time I've picked the blue before. Usually it's hard to get the light blue. Yes, it is. Take the bottom one. I've, I've hardly used the blue, and maybe it's something new for it. What color is that sheet? It's orange. Okay, it's actually the yellow. Oh, okay, there is no orange anyway, right? No, no. I, I'm not sure. Um, let's see your sheets again. Let's see there. 
Okay. Well, you could almost say it looks yellow to me, but you said orange, so I'm not sure. Okay. Not sure it is color. orange. It is orange. It is orange. So you were right. I even looked. It's orange. Yeah. Uh, I my mistake because uh, it looks yellow to me. So yeah. Okay. Shuffle them, and we'll do one more with the colors. Closing my eyes again. Okay. And take the bottom one. And what color is that one? So you got the orange right. Uh, that one's the green. Exactly. It is. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to try the cups again. Try you something new. Okay, now take the top two cups. No, the other way. The top two, the other way. Yeah, those two. One, that one. Okay, and then put them away, the rest. Put them away. One in each hand. And I want you to put them on your shoulders and tell me what colors they are. Just for fun. This one orange? Um, the orange is on your left side. Okay. This is That's orange. orange. That's orange. I'm going to say it's the light blue. Well, it is the blue, but it is the dark blue. And I've been confusing the light and dark blue. Yeah. So you got them. Cool. Now let's go back to the little sheets with the shapes. Shuffle them so you don't have any idea what they are. Okay, take the one facing me. Okay, put the rest down, face down, and tell me what shape that is. I'm getting a solid circle. Okay, now what I want you to do is reach out and grab the pile of them that you just put down and show me what's facing, what, what's at the bottom of that pile, just for fun. It's the circle. It's the black circle. <laughs> I just had to check. <laughs> So we got to remember to do that because Marina says once you get good at this, you, your, your consciousness goes out anywhere because it gets bored with what it's doing and it's going, see what I can do. Let's get the pile of letters and shuffle them so you have no idea. Okay, let's take, I can't see them, so let's point them at me, move them to the next one. Uh, that one. Use that one. And tell me what letter that is. And I do know what the bottom one is, so it will be interesting to see. <laughs> Move your head around slowly till you can find your beam. Connect. Okay. Now I want you to reach over and show me what the next card, like the top card on that pile is, just for fun. Turn it around and show it, and that's the X there. Let's go back to the one that's on the table, because I'm just, I was just curious. Um, three times you, you, like out of all those letters, and you're picking out the ones that are top, bottom. So tell me what the one is in front of you, and then we'll check what's on the pile after, just for fun. Now send your beam to the card all by itself on the by your right hand. Maybe tap your right hand on it. Send your beam to that card. Ignore the pile. Ignore the pile that's on the table, and send your beam to the card that your right hand is holding. Quit searching out that pile of cards <laughs> beside you and send your beam out to the card that's in your right hand. Look for that letter and what do you see? Uh, it was like a U. It was, it's the U, it's the U. It is? It is the U, yes. Okay. Very, very cool. I think we have to be more specific um, because this time I just told you to direct it to your right hand and then tap it and kept telling you to go there instead of it just going anywhere. Okay, take the top one. Take the top one. Yeah, that one. Mm, it color was green. It is green. It is green. Cool. I think that's enough for today. <laughs> but we have to realize that we think we're wrong. But we have no idea where our consciousness is going. And that was a perfect example of it right there. I know. You know, we just have to double check. Well, it'll be interesting doing this video. Yeah, yeah. And that's a train, good training one because we need to direct it. Yeah. What, we have, what we have showing, have the person check the other pilot. We're learning some more, right? But I remember Marina just did say that once we get doing this, you start seeing outside of everything. We forget that our right brain isn't like our left one. So you just say, what is that letter? And it could go anywhere.
you have to be more specific, I think, when you're looking for something. And that's the whole thing, I guess, of the finger. Go where your finger is. Tell me what that is. Like this session is a powerful example of that.